Hi there, Collective. This is Kim here to do another collective reading with my mother, the angel facilitator here. And uh, your spirit team, your spirit guides, your angels. We're just pulling from the animal spirit deck first just to see what wants to come out. And we will pull from that one also. Okay. I love these animal spirits. They really give you um, a lot of messages just right off the bat. So the hyena, I mean, what does the hyena do? They, they, they help you kind of look, the spirit helps you look at things like um, as humorous so that you can see, you know, the humor and whatever is going on in your life. In the um, play, honestly, in the small, small speck of a play compared to your eternal life. That's just so hard to think of right now. Um, the lamb, which might mean that you have some kind of foresight or prophecy to be able to see something. There's innocence with the lamb. The word sacrifice comes out. Earthworm means you're just like starting something it, well the way that i feel about the earthworm card is it's just beneath the surface pretty much it's in the dirt just beneath the surface so like you're beginning something you're just scratching the surface of whatever it is uh and then the black egg well okay so this is about the throat chakra and and um voicing being your authentic you that was thunder wasn't it was that thunder or was that a muffler? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Can't tell. All right. So I have headphones on. I use headphones so that I can try to block out some of the noises. And hopefully the microphone will pick it up. Hummingbird, you are tasting the sweet things in life as well as finding your voice, being your authentic self with the hummingbird. Um, wow. Nice. The hummingbird is a great example of literally living off of the sweetness of life, living for the nectar, knowing where to go, exactly where to go, um, so that they can get food, sustenance for themselves. Keep yourself busy right now, busy like a bee. Um, something like that is going to bring you a lot of success, you know. Um abundant how do you want to be abundant okay that was a download i got earlier today and i will share that with you but first let's say the crocodile here is uh taking a rest it feels like you're working while others are taking a rest that's what the energy feels like it's like you what is that <laughs> it's like you know what you want to get and it does not allow for some rest. <laughs> so you need to get your rest. Yes, rest up. But um, if it, it feels like something like that. So the download, though, that I got. Um, oh, innately uh, creative, right? This one. Was that. And it seems kind of common sense. It would probably seem common, common sense to you that we. Um, the download I got was that you, you choose your abundance that you want to have every single day and as much as we say we really want to live here in the now moment in in like a new age community or or wiccan really i mean whatever you belong to or or if you don't if you're kind of like me and just don't really you can relate to just about anything there's that understanding that the things that you pick on a daily basis bring you your abundance so you can't so so like for example if i'm going to let's say because there was a time when i was very when i was a little wild and what i wanted abundant wise in my life was just to kind of go and mess around and and feel a certain way and um and so probably a lot of beer was involved and my point in saying this was that i was still abundant I was still abundant even when I had $2 left in my pocket, but I, I was at a friend's house spending the night and doing what I wanted to do for my abundance. And and it was, um, you know, so of course the, these choices about what's going to affect the future, 
um, it could be looked at like that as, as that you are always choosing your abundance. <clears throat> Sometimes or what we choose for abundance or to be abundant in, it um, can work against what maybe some plans we have for the future are. And so looking back, it might not feel like that was a very abundant time, but it was, we're always very 100% abundant in all things, all, all day, every day. So the point is of the download was what do you choose for your abundance um and i thought that was really in interesting um oh and and you know certainly it'd be nice to have an abundance of humor in a time where things can be you know stressful it's really it's nice to have an abundance of jokes it would be nice to have an abundance of muscle power too. So exercise might need to have a priority to go up. It might be necessary um, for you to tweak a few things if you want abundance in your family life. So wherever you want the abundance, of course, the, the key is usually the balance. That's the hardest thing. But um, <clears throat> but looking at it like that, like that no matter what, you're choosing what you want to be abundant in. Okay, so that, that was my little download. I have separation against nature. Gold. This was a very common message to something that we had just a few days ago um, with the against nature. And, uh, well, separation I don't think we had on the group. But that that is coming in reverse. There, it, there's something also with this hyena that's tied to um, making a, a, a decision, a major decision, because you can see that it's uh, this way or that way. What do you choose? There were quite a few signs, though, that had the against nature card. And the against nature card uh, is, you know, when something is going in such a way that well, for example, with the abundance uh, talk, if if you don't feel like what it is that you're picking is abundant or that what, you, what situation it is is abundant, then maybe it's because it's going against your own abundant nature. And it's actually um, not maybe the best decision that would be lined up with your future goals. Because whether you like it or not, even subliminally, you carry what you want for your future here in the present two um and then we have gold i don't know what the separation is about we probably will have to get uh, tarot cards for these or i can use the siren song either one but gold is uh finding gold it it's gonna be to pay off for your uh results you know whatever this work is that you're putting in uh, it is going to bring the results that you want as you have gold. Yeah. <laughs> and you have the lightning. This card is like a completion and perfection. It's a perfection and completion. And so the decision, I feel like, is to separate from something, separate yourself from whatever it is that if you had, a, if you looked at it as abundance, would you choose it? I guess that's what I'm trying to really say. If you looked at it as abundance, would you still choose it? Um, and then the sun splendor card on the bottom. So nearly perfection is something that you're doing here. There we go. And for your tarot, I have the enchanted for Hoxa. All right. Just like the hummingbird, it like knows where to find the nectar. You will know that if you're doing what is uh, feeling right with your nature, will lead you to gold don't let anybody put you in a box or be shy or hesitant to go against what feels unnatural to you okay all right so um give us a little bit more information something on separation give us a card for separation please Separation, the seven of earth has to do with what you've invested in so far. Um, what do you consider work fulfilled or work or success not necessarily fulfilling you at this point or at this time? That is thunder. That is thunder. What about the against nature? 
So what have you put a lot of investment into that you feel like this is not really what I wanted for myself? And there you go again. So th this goes along perfectly with the download of, of picking things that um, are your abundance, but technically you wouldn't label it as, no, that's not the kind of abundance I wanted. Well, then you go into like the love uh, where you give your attention, <laughs> right? So because the nine of water in the reverse is when we're picking things that go against us, when we can have whatever we want. And so if it goes against making all of your dreams and desires true, then technically it's going against your own nature, which is to be honestly perfect, divine, perfect. It is perfect. It is divine. You are perfect. You are divine. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. And I guess it's because of this place, this place. Tell me about gold. Justice, partnerships, marriages, relationships, high vibe, finding your authentic voice brings in the partnership that is worth its weight in gold. Which will you choose? Uh, <clears throat> okay. This is nice. Libra energy. The sun energy is coming across to me as a... Um, well, there's that decision, a heavy decision you have to make, but it, it doesn't kind of look like the lover's energy too with those, um, and excuse my nails. I really have been messing with charcoal tonight, so it's going to be, they're going to be kind of messy. Um, okay. The eight of water separation. What oh, doesn't feel right for you? I would prepare, I would prepare for a move or a retreat. It's not necessarily something fast. In fact, this is something where emotionally you've been separating from this energy for a while. I don't know. Uh, for some of you, it's going to be a career. Maybe it's going to be both a relationship, a career. Something that doesn't feel like it actually embodies your authentic voice. Or an energy that's not really allowing your authentic voice to come in. Like something that it's against your authenticity and therefore... You have to leave it. <laughs> you have to leave it or them. You probably need to get away, relax, choose something good for yourself. Get on that path that leads to your ninth cup. The queen of earth reverse. Hmm. With the lightning. Tell me more about queen of earth in the reverse. Oh, and the chariot. And the chariot and the ten of fire. So when striving for perfection here, if you're striving for perfection, why do I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Hang on. Let me get something from this siren song. Tell me about who or what is the Queen of Earth because in my... No, I'm not even going to say it right now. I won't say it. I won't say it because I don't want to taint the message what is who is the queen of earth constricting perfectionist ring in reverse somebody trying to get involved with uh with your matters or trying to stop a commitment from coming in for you trying to stop communication that somebody desires to be with you in fact, they might be telling you the opposite. And then I have the chariot energy, which is awesome because that means you're moving in the right direction, gaining speed, gaining, mom gaining momentum. If we're not practical and grounded and using our resources wisely, this energy can get in the way of it. If this is off balance, that energy can get in the way. It also is coming across as the crocodile here. And I hate to say that, but it could be like a friend who's lying in wait, just kind of wanting you to mess up on something. And and why? Because they want to stop a union or a commitment that they either they can foresee it or they know something about this that's wanting to come in or that has. It's just well, well for whatever reason, it's not coming together exactly right. It's because there's interference. 
I'm surprised the eight of uh, swords didn't come out because there's interference. Because there's interference. And now we have wealth. Oh, okay. Somebody wouldn't would want to get in the way of a commitment or a new partnership that you have going for you. Honestly, because there's a lot of wealth involved. That's why. And then I have the Ten of Fire. So you're feeling physically and emotionally everything. Like, ah, oh, I'm worn out. Drained. Tired. Worn out. What's the separation? Mature man. Somebody that would rather, uh, would be a better investment or this is the person you're separating from. Whew. Poverty, but then you find gold. Poverty, what could keep you in poverty? Choosing abundance in different ways. Choosing abundance in different ways and not looking at it as that and then wondering, where's my abundance? Again, with the same kind of message. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I have occupation, meaning you've got a lot of choices here for you. Because it's landing on that justice, it could be a contract. A new contract, a new partnership. Hmm, occupation. Poverty. Tell me more about um, poverty and let's get something from this, this deck. What about the poverty? Great fortune. I knew that this was going to happen. Okay, I don't know how I knew that this was going to happen. But, but I was thinking to myself... Every time I ask, you know, why is this here? It's something usually the complete opposite <laughs> pops out. And I'm like, oh, so we're going to have to view it like this. Like when it comes to investing in you or with this mature man, that's not, I feel, I don't feel like that's who you're separating from. I think that that has something to do with who wants to invest or the decision. And then you have poverty to great fortune, like for real. I knew that was going to happen too. I just had a feeling that was going to happen. Hmm. You're going rags to riches. Quite literally in my reading, I have rags to riches. So the only concern here is like, do you want this or do you want the other things that you choose that are against your nature? Maybe even a job that doesn't feel right, but you're just doing it, feeling kind of sorry. Woe is me. I'm having to be in this little box like that. Oh, theft. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Partnership, marriage, the partnership. Somebody wants to take something from or to take you from someone because it's next to the desire. Next to the desire. Hang on. It's getting hot in here. It always gets hot whenever we start channeling. All right. Give me more on theft. It can be a theft of time, a theft of somebody wanting to take your person or your interest. There's too many things going in, on in here. <laughs> There's too many things going on in here. Okay, and then I have the rich gent that flew on top of the great fortune card. Somebody wants this person. This person might want you to take you <laughs> for a contract, for an offer, for a bond. To, to sail with them on their ships so you can have golden ships of your own. I have the tree. <clears throat> okay. Depending on where that's planted in your reading, it depends on what could be draining you of your uh, resources. So, again, the, what are you choosing? This is about forgiveness with the theft card, too. It could be about forgiveness because then I have the cross, which is in the uh, Lenormand that you're going to see uh, so what you have suffered for. Or what you have had to sacrifice, what you've been, or, or what you have, are already forgiven of, especially if this is like a past thing. Oh, at the crossroads, wanted to come out. It was wanting to come out before. Where you are going is going to be this crossroads. So where your choice is going to be with the chariot. Do you move here or not? Do you move there or not? Here or there? 
um, because it's all about to pick up and everything you touch is about to just be like, whoosh, like you're blazing a trail. The crossroads could mean a lover's energy also. Oh, the letter. Oh, the letter. Oh, the letter. Okay, so the letter. <clears throat> Marriage. Somebody wanting to commit, wanting to come in and bond. Let's have a bond. False person. False person here, number eight. You should have wealth if you're in this lack mentality then that's yeah that imposter is not it's you not not believing in your divine self the whip can be people that have said hurtful things to you about you could involve a man um outside of you know this not somebody that's related to you just a man outside of whatever a mediator now this is a go-between mediator the go between trying to find conflict resolution and then the bear is usually people that are kind of jealous or envious because of assistance or help that you're getting maybe it's because they can't see um, how you're building something with longevity just because um you're good at doing that i really like that i like that all right Oh, moon on the bottom. Fame, fortune, recognition. The book, Secrets. Secrets. A secret. What has been kept hidden or concealed and what is a secret? And then I have the gift coming out on top of the bear. Like I said, this is help or assistance, possibly from this man energy, but whatever it is, it's um, helping you, helping assist you. Siren number two, because what people are expecting is a commitment from the new you, a new you. There's a spark of light. Unexpected money on the bottom. Like Again, somebody wanting to help. Uh, let's check with this tarot. Whatever you're wishing for, it's coming in. Your ship's coming in, and remember, they were golden. <clears throat> what else about um, the crossroads? Tell us more about the crossroads and this decision that we all have to be making this important decision. Holy crap. The Seven of Swords. It's about making, uh, well, needing to develop maybe a strategy that you don't tell anybody about. This is coming on top of the book. Lying, cheating, stealing, deception of any kind, or just a strategy to not let somebody know what you're doing. It, both of these are coming up under secrets or things kept, like, hidden. <clears throat> This is what, what the universe is expecting out of you. It's the new you with the page of pentacles, grabbing and seizing on to life's or the universe offering you a new adventure, um, building a possibly a new everything. New, 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 new. After a rebirth is definitely needed, maybe in the area of occupation, something's getting healed for sure because of putting yourself out there you're attracting many many things at this time and there is temperance that's angelic uh, divine timing and healing and it is beautiful it's good chemistry and there's that eight of cups another eight of cups this one's in reverse so the only thing that's stopping you is a fear the fear of leaving in the first place leaving something behind that is not satisfying anymore. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So <laughs> this is maybe resisting um, an ending of some sort with the death card in the reverse, resisting an end of a chapter, but it's here and there's something new, passionate, waiting for you to like say, hey, this is good news. These energies are very similar, the Rich Gent and the King of Pentacles. Whoa. 
There's a ring, the letter, and then the strength card. And another Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. What is this energy? Oh, okay. Five, uh, not five, sorry. I don't know why I said that. The Two of Swords. Capricorn. What is this devil energy not wanting you to succeed? It has something to do with what you pick for your abundance for the day. Because definitely you can have anything that you decide to plant your seed in. Now, whether that's something good or toxic, that would be up to you. This is a decision that you have been postponing for far too long with the Two of Swords in the reverse. It's no longer about moving past a stalemate. It's like, do you want this life or that life? <laughs> this or that? This or that? That's exactly what it's saying. Invest in the things that you want to see grow. Yay! That was a really good reading. I liked it. I liked it. Get some tea leaves in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, na, 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 na. so putting an end to maybe addictions and vices in the middle of the night. <laughs> you got the marriage card and the diamond card. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. A fair man, dealings, a relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair egg success is assured with good plans and hard work casket someone going out of your life for the end of a situation dagger fears worries tense situations rat someone working against you behind your back claw be careful do not take risks angel spiritual guidance protection from harm target a goal-oriented person Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. And then, like I said, we got the marriage and the diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And fan is romance, celebration, or a partay. In the middle of the night. It's to help you rebuild. There's some slander about the old you. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, as long as it's slander about the old you and it's not about who you are right now. The character is who you are living as every single day by day that goes by. And look at this ending again. 13 for the death card. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. And that's what I got for you guys. I'm sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. If you need a private reading, that's in the description box below. And bye.